Hello everyone, this is Gala here, and in today's video, um, I'll be telling you which tank or ISIS I recommend you, which tank you should get on the uh, Worth of Tank Blitz event. Um, now, if you didn't know already, um, you can get some tanks. Now, these basically is, um, you can get a tank for free among these. Now, this is if you played for more than 7 and 8 years. Um, so you get the choice between these four tanks, and if you have played for more than nine years or nine years, you'll get this um screen right here, which basically let let you choose between the Skoda T forty five, Action X, and the Kaler or the Eastern five RT as it is wrote right here. Now, you can see the language not the same. Uh, it's just someone that posted it on the World Blitz Discord and I just took it, right? So. I didn't play for nine years, so I just took it. Um, so yeah, um, we're gonna start in order now. For the first one, it is the poodle. Now the poodle, um, to be honest, it's not that good. It's just a tier six. Um, if you want the poodle or sort of a similar experience, um, you can get this thing, which just go ahead in the tech tree, get into Germany, and then you got the panther. Um, Panther, as you can see, pretty much the same form, same turret, sort of, and it's it's just an overall better tier for tier. So, um, I wouldn't get the uh, poodle unless I didn't had any of the tanks shown here. Next up is the Type Six Two. Now, Type Six Two is a pretty good tank. Um, I would compare it as either a LTTB or um, this thing now this thing does looks very similar to the LTTB now why does it have such a big antenna that is okay uh, I'm sorry um, but yeah, you can see um, I'm sorry if I have way too freaking um, offers uh, but yeah like I said as you can see um, they have very much the same form um, now, Type 6 2 has great penetration. Um, as you can see here, where is it? Um, yeah, it has 250 millimeters of um, premium uh, penetration, which is quite a lot for a tier 10, uh, tier, 10 tier 7 um, light tank. Now, if you compare it to, say, LTTB, um, you'll find 200 millimeters, uh, maybe around here. Um, around 190 millimeters no 202 yes yeah, so you know 250 millimeters is quite a lot uh tank is pretty good like i said gun is good mobility is good um but do watch out as it has no armor so you you gotta be a bit careful with this the only armor you have is on this little gun mantlet but apart from that it's totally achievable by most big caliber tanks um like the isu and the smashers you really want to be careful from them uh but yeah apart from that it, it is pretty fast uh, as i said earlier um you need to be uh, careful though because you can be run pretty easily it's only 21 tons so it's pretty good um next one is gonna be the t25 pallet i uh, know never mind it's gonna be the um the skoda t45 now, Skoda for T45, T45 sorry, was in a event recently. Um, it was free, so it is a pretty good tank. Our turret armor, like on the gun mantlet, is insanely good. Um, but the cheeks are pretty bad. Um, not gonna lie, it's not the best ones. But the gun overall, um, I think the aiming is pretty bad. But the DPM, like the reload time, is pretty good. It's pretty solid. So I would say it's a, a solid tier 7. Um, it's pretty much... It's pretty much this thing, but in, in a better way. So, if you can, if you don't want to get the T56, you can probably get this thing. Um, even though it doesn't have the same gun at all. Um, I'm going to assume it has sort of the same turret, even though I don't, I don't get it. So. Yeah, that's the Skoda for you. So, 
Personally, if I was a beginner, I would probably take this tank, but if there, since there is tier 8, I wouldn't get uh, basically any of the lower tiers. So basically, if you already have the tier 8, then you can go for the lower tiers, but if you don't, if you, if you have any, and not any of these, then definitely do not get the lower tiers. You can just buy them later if you want, if they come in a offer. Next up is a T25 pilot now this thing is pretty it's not good but it's it's decent i guess um so for each tier rates that i have which mean all of them pretty much i'll try to do a um around two games explaining you how to actually play them um so yeah let's start with the pilot now as i said it is pretty good um gun is somewhat good i mean reload is great average is mediumly good um it has 10 degrees of kind of pressure which is very good um the armor on the turret is pretty good the gun mantlet pretty much is the armor um the turret cheeks obviously are pretty weak uh hole is pretty weak it is pretty fast it goes around 50 kilometers max if i if it's like on flat terrain so it's pretty good so um i'll be doing you live commentary so i'm just gonna get it here to spare you the waiting time. Alright, so we're in a game already. Now, hopefully I don't get tunneled. Um, but yeah, j just so that you know, um, basically, um, I, I, I'm doing this a second time because I didn't have enough credits to get this thing back. So I had to grind with, like, basically noob teams at tier 6 and 7 with my Shiri. So, yeah, it wasn't really enjoyable. Uh, but yeah, I do get it now, so I'll be able to get some credits and get all of the other tanks. Now, this thing, as I said, you probably want to play it all down, um, because it it obviously has it, it obviously has all of the armor on the uh, turret. Now, I don't really really know how I bounced this or slash missed it. We do want to try to get uh, more shots onto this guy. Um, I guess I can go on the comet here um since doesn't seem to be any tds uh but yeah this thing turret is pretty insane against lower tiers like tier 7 um but yeah as you can see um here is a 52p 3tp to help us so we can clear this guy we can maybe get the cdc if there's not much tds around uh which uh hello grave digger i don't really know what this guy is doing but We'll be able to get some shots onto him, maybe. Yeah, so the CDC is dead. So what I go, um, uh, we're gonna do, I think, is just sniping um, all down. So, you know, this little part here. We can just um, do this here. So as you can see here, uh, the uh, penetration is a bit bad. Um, so yeah, you can see people can still penetrate your turret with, like, the the sides within the sides or whatever so you gotta be a bit careful for this um but against like is6s you know so it, things that have bad aiming time and overall bad dispersion then this thing is pretty good to hold down against because it will have a hard time uh, actually trying to hit your um uh weak spots um so here we can try to get this action x track him down there we go 281 so as you can see the the um average roll is not too bad um sometimes it's it's pretty high but it's not always this high um i think what we can do is since we have a lot of hp we can just go around here let's go and help the ice three so yeah you see it's pretty fast you're not gonna have a hard time trying to chase your opponents with it um, it is pretty fun to me, um, but it's definitely not the best thing in the, in the list. Um, no, I don't really know where this guy hit me, but with our download speed, uh, reload speed, I mean, we can get some more shots and actually I'll trade him for the damage he done to us. We can track him. Alright, now this guy died, so I should be able to get this guy. Okay, now he's uh, pretty much like two shots for me. 
Okay, Yagi, why would you push me? Alright, uh, at least we didn't die. We can go up here. Uh, 50 toothpaste is gonna kill the IS-6. Or not. I don't know. Oh, never mind. He's not dead. Alright, and we got the kill. So, three kills. Um, I don't know how much damage we did. Um, I was about 2.5k. Uh, never mind. We did 2.3. Um, so as you can see, easy ace with this thing. Um, it's not hard. Um, most people probably do bad in this thing. Um, so yeah, it's pretty much the thing. This uh, teaching five product. I'm gonna do a second game. Uh, as I said, I'm gonna do one game for each tanks. Um, which is nice. Um, we got instantly in the game. Um, what have we got? What have we got? Um, now this map. Um, I would say it's it's not bad for this tank. You have the bridge, so. What I'm gonna do is to ch it, since the tank is pretty fast, um, we do have against M48 Ram Panzer and Titan 540 T4. These are pretty much slow tanks, or at least they're slower than me. So I'll be able to go around here, go hold down, and I'll be able to get some shots early game, like this. Okay, now this was a bad idea. I don't know why I went to the side. Really? There we go. I think we need to run because, well, they are all there and our heavies didn't really follow, so. Okay, we have a lucky bounce. Okay, I might die here. Um, the purpose of me doing live battles is to actually show you like the bad points of the tanks. Um, I don't want to be like all these people that actually do like the the best um the replays to show you the best of the tanks. Um, I really want you to show you how bad the tank can also be. Um, this guy here be saying the team is ass, but. This guy's ass too, Death V, Shitty Clan. Um, at least most of their players are. Some of their players are somewhat good, but it's definitely not uh, the best clan. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna keep on going for the next tank. Now, I don't think I'll be able to sell the T25 pilot to get the other one. Um, no, I don't think. It's not. Uh, anyways, next tank is gonna be. Hmm. Next tank is gonna be. Hmm. Let's take the Action X. Now, Action X is a very solid tank. Um, armor is great. Um, at least to against most tanks. Uh, mobility is. It's pretty bad, I would say. Uh, it's not the worst, it's not as slow as the mouse, but it goes like 30, so it's not the best. Um, turret armor, as I said, is very good. Uh, gun is good, um, like it has great DPM, great reload time. Um, I don't really remember exactly how good it is, but it definitely is um, a great tank. Now, between all of these threes, between the Skoda T-Food 5, Action X, and E-75 RT slash Kaler, um, I would definitely put the Action X in the first place, then E75, and then Skoda. Um, I would say Action X is probably the best tank to get um, right now. Um, yeah, like even against the Kader, I think it's pretty better. Um, it has great amount of gun depression, and uh, yeah, it's overall a pretty good tank. Um, most tier 7s and even tier 8s are going to struggle against this thing because of how strong the turret is. Um, but you gotta be careful against tier 9s as most of them can penetrate like your, um, I'll do a, a, a comparison, um, comparison, or, anyways, um, like those little cheeks here. Um, but the, it's actually space armor, so... I don't know. Let's look at the super conky if I can. Uh, can I look at it? 
it doesn't seem like I can, but uh, anyways, I'm gonna show you once my T25 is back. Alright, so the T25 is back. I'm gonna be selling it. There we go. Now we can get the Action X. Which, where is it? Uh, action X, Action X. Where? Am I blind? Oh, there we go. It's here. So, Action X, first of all, it has PBR, which is pretty insane looking. Um, it has also two uh, legendary camos, but I do like this one. Um, both of them have a spotlight on, uh, but I do like the blue color that they put on it and the text which is written around. Keep calm and carry on, which is pretty nice. Um, this one, I think it's like, it's not worse, but I, I just prefer this one because it has better colors. Uh, all right. I'm just gonna spray you. I'm gonna show you how I equip it. Um, yeah, like this. It also has great penetration. All right, so that's how I equip it. Um, these two, I guess it's to your preferences. But I just prefer overall better reload time for these things because I think it's better. Alright, so let's go in for two uh, live battles, um, like in the T25 pilot. I'm gonna spare you this. Uh waiting time all right so we are in the game um now this map is pretty good for this such uh, this kind of tank all right so i don't know what the ICU is shooting at are you okay now i don't really know why the team is going to the right um might as well go to the right i don't want to go wrong the team seems a bit lost um i don't know what they're doing but all right. So let's follow this. Now, usually I would go to the other side, um, but for some reason, some teams decide to go all to the right side, which I will never understand. Uh, but all right. So it seems like their team actually have a brain and went to the other side. Now here is more for the heavies, um, pretty much. So this thing does have a cupola that they can pen, as you can see. So it is the weakness of the tank. Uh, as you can see, we can get pretty nice bounces. Okay, now these bounces, I don't really know why. So as you can see, I'm mainly doing hold down in this thing, and you basically want to wait for them to peek out so that you can basically annihilate him th them with your reload time. Um, that's pretty much the only thing you gotta do. It's it can get pretty boring at times. Like it's generally the same gameplay overall, as you can see. You just hold down and farm. <clears throat> So as you can see, you, you can see live that the only armor you got on the 225 is the um, the gunman lit. So what you want to do is the 225 too, as I forgot to mention, was to actually um, wiggle um, against tanks. So as you can see here, T49 bounced me because uh, size and the whole turret pretty much is spaced armor. So that's pretty good. Um, your back obviously can be HE'd. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna be able to get the kill here. There we go. Gonna go a bit more. Get this array chain. Hello. 
3 damage, I love. He cannot even hit me. <laughs> Alright, so... We did a 7-0 somehow, so none of our teammates died. Which is a pretty good game. And we're gonna go for the second one now, triple one, 2.2k, pretty good. Two kills. This guy did do the good as well. These guys not so much. I'm gonna give you a thumbs up too. And yeah, we completely destroyed their team. Their highest damage is, well, 1,100. So I think I I did more damage than their whole team combined, which is pretty funny. So yeah, let's go for the second one. I'm gonna spare you the waiting time again. Alright, so we got in. Um, in this map, as I said, you really want to play hold down, but um, in this case, it's they have four heavies there, so I think I'll prefer um going on this side. I think what I'm gonna do is hold down in the middle. Now it is a pretty dangerous uh, spot. I uh, wouldn't recommend anyone to do this. Alright. Obviously, he pens me. Um. Alright. Um. Okay, Simwa is going down, so I don't really know why. But I'll be able to get some shots on them. Let's get this some more common. Yep, so we got him. Let's get the chieftain now. As you can see, we're pretty much sitting and farming. That's pretty much the point of the action X. Sit and farm. Because of this great DPM. Yep, nice bounce. <clears throat> So now since most of their heavies have died, we'll be able to sort of go in front and get the the heavies. So as you can see, we just angled the plate a little bit and there it's pretty much a bounce for them. Hello. So we can just tunnel him. So as you can see, with great armor, um, or like great um, penetration, we can even pen the ammo for it, which is pretty nice. As you can even see, the even the little spotlight emits light, which is pretty nice. Not a lot of tanks actually emit light. I think the Centurion should also have light effect. Um, like, oh, never mind. You can see on the turret, there's like a little spotlight. So if he could do the light thing and all, it would be fun. Alright, so let's see if we can get any more additional damage. Let's get our adrenaline. Yes! Two kills, um, that's great. Uh, Alright. So we did a great game, game again. We got new bridge which is inviting us. He is my friend. Uh... But yeah, congratulations, you are on my video. Check the new... Which... Alright, so he's gonna be able to see himself in the video. So yeah, um, as you can see, you don't really require a lot of skills to, to play properly the action eggs. Um, it's a great thing for farming credits. Um, 
uh, but it can get a bit boring over time. So next tank is gonna be hold up. Um, what tank is it? It's gonna be the M449. Now the for M449, I don't have it. So it is my first time. Wait, I can. It just says I'm about them all. I'm just gonna picture this. <laughs> All right. All right, so we got in the game. Now this thing um has some pretty good turret armor, so it's pretty much a hold down tank. Um, it is a French tank, so it probably has a uh, pretty good need mobility for a heavy tank. Um, all right, mobility is not too bad. Goes around forty, so. Let's go here. Oh, unfortunate. So we'll be able to help our team around here. As you can see, it is pretty uh, strong. Um, you gotta be careful though about the uh, little side things here. The uh, um, four sides are very weak, so you need to be careful with this. Okay. This guy, I'm gonna probably be able to clear him somehow. Okay, no. Nice. <laughs> Don't know what this guy was doing. Um, M4 definitely seems like a fun thing to play. I do find it pretty enjoyable. Okay. Tossed the guys great amount of gun depression, which I do like. <laughs> All right, I didn't I don't know why I tried to hit this. Um, my currency could be better. Um, depends on what equipments you are running, I guess. Um, but yeah, right now we've got, we'll be able to get the 1.30 p.m. I don't know why he shot the wall. Unfortunately, he got me. Alright, this guy should be able to clear him. There we go. And yeah, we pretty much won. Um, so yeah, this thing is pretty good. Um, great overall. Um, but yeah, I do I do find it quite enjoyable. Now I'm pretty ass in it apparently. Uh, but yes, it is a great tank. NHP, I don't know what that means. Uh, let's go for a second game here. 
Uh, okay, there we go. We are uh, recording. My bad. Um, so we should be able to take control of the um, middle here. We've got the annulator. Of course, he hits two of his shots into me. Now, there is a T49 somewhere right there, so I do want to be careful about him. We're going to try to get the people. I really do want to focus on this T49, though. Alright, so Annihilator is speaking. Don't know how he didn't get shot. Obviously. Alright, so I can hit this guy. Uh, Coppola is pretty big. As you can see, I get hit in it from it pretty much. Most of the time. Okay, hit the rock. Tiger, can you not? Nice bounce. Gonna look forward towards this guy. Okay, this guy shot. We'll be able to kill him, hopefully. Maybe. Nope. Uh, but yeah, if I wouldn't have done that, we would have probably stayed uh, still alive. Uh, but it's just me. Um, next one is uh, the Kaler. Now the Kaler, I don't have it. Or at least I don't remember. Oh, never mind. I do actually have it. Uh, so I'm gonna wait for the Amex to come back. Alright, so here it is. Let's sell it again. And we'll be able to get the Kaler. Which, where are you? There we go. Now this thing has a great legendary camo. Um, it looks pretty nice, but I'm not gonna run any. Now this thing has a massive lower plate, um, which is pretty hard to hide. Um, do something like this. All right, let's do something like this. <coughs> Sorry. So here we've got the Kaler, which um it has great turret armor. Um, all armor like the top front plate is very good too. Um, but like I said, it has a oh, it has a pretty big um lower plate so you gotta be careful about this uh but yes it is essentially the killer so, all right so our we are funny in a game now this map seems pretty good um i'm not sure but it should be now this is pretty much a lover um uh more like an e75 ts um turret, uh, whole armor with like a low turret that's sort of how it is now with this thing you mainly want to do hold down i'm pretty sure Now it is freaking slow, and you guys know how I hate slow tanks.
Okay, now we're against the Mini 75 Eagle. Obviously, there's a C30 right freaking there. Now it has have an HP more HP than me. Oh my god, and here is a freaking ice you. Alright, I don't freaking know what this guy's doing. Okay, this team is just terrible. I don't know what this guy is trying to snipe to. This guy, I don't know too. This guy is getting the Pantera, I guess. Well, um, yes, it is. It uh, pretty bad thing. All right, I'm gonna spare you. Okay, you are fool. Oh my god, I don't know why. I don't even know why this guy is argument argumenting. Look at where we died. Oh my god, what is this guy doing? Why would you stop right there? There is a... How did the email even bounce? What? Oh my god. And there we go. We literally lost. He cannot even write heavy properly. Jesus Christ. Then I did more damage than him. Oh my god. Two zeros in the game. Uh, okay, this guy is pretty bad. No wonder why he argues like this. Alright, so we're gonna do two more games actually. Because this game was there very bad uh, so we're gonna do it again Alright, we are finally in a game. Now, hopefully this this team is not too bad. Uh, but yeah, this thing can somewhat uh, side scrape. I mean, um, it has like those little round corners like on the sides. I don't really know how to describe them. I don't really want to go on the medium side, so fuck that. All right. Um, turret can be penned like over these edges, by like around the government lift. So you gotta be a bit careful for this. But the enemies will usually have to use um premium ammo for this.
How? How? What the hell? How will it not pen? It's like uh, this is like the unluckiest bound. Alright, let's just go straight in. Oh my god, how did this hit the rock? This prison is pretty bad. Okay, at least these things hit. How? What? Right, um, let's get these guys. This is a perfect spot. There we go. Yeah, now we can hide our lower plate, and there is gonna be uh, hardly any ways for them to pen me. There we go. Let's get the GS War. There we go. That is a pretty nice game. All right. Um. Great. So we have a great game here. Um. So we're gonna do another one. Um. The gun definitely feels a bit inaccurate, even if I run this thing. Um, but the average damage is pretty nice, and I find it pretty satisfying, so. Alright, so we are again in a good game. Now this video is going to be extremely long. Um, I didn't thought it would be this long. Um, let's try to go to the bridge. We'll see where our heavies actually go. And we'll see uh, where do we go after. Seems like all of our heavies want to go this side. We're gonna go this side too. All right. And go around here and get hold down. Okay, now this was not a great idea.
not a great idea at all. Okay, we're lucky they do for the night bounce. Oh, I do not want to get killed by the T49, but I think he's gonna kill me once. Alright, they all seem distracted on the AMX. 3 HPs, are you kidding me? Oh my god, how did, why did I bounce this? Oh my god, and of course, there is this guy. Um, so I don't think we'll be lo winning this. Uh, our medium didn't even go to the bridge, so T49 is basically farming. Uh, but yes, to, to generalize, um, I would go for the, if you have 7 years, I would go for the M449. Uh, if you had nine years, I would go for the um, the the Ashenix because they're pretty much the superior tanks. Um, but if you wanted to choose any other tanks, and here were my tips on how to play them. Um, so guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, then tell me in the comments what you liked. Um, if you like this format of video, maybe I can try to do another one uh, recommending tanks, but they are pretty long to do. Um, and they take a lot of time. So, thank you again for um, looking at my vi at my videos, and hopefully I can see you um, another time. Goodbye.